name's Kevin Cole. Uh, I work at uh, Temporal, a new uh, R&D firm. And today I'm going to be talking to you about efficient Sonar programs. Um, over the course of the last few years, we've seen a shift in priority from you know, adding new features to uh, improving the performance and robustness of the network. Uh, and we've seen this with like the development of new clients, but the Agave client itself has seen a lot of improvements, right? In, in the packet ingestion layer, we saw the migration from UDP to Quick. We've seen optimizations in Quick, and now Temporal is working with some of the core teams to research and develop a uh, new networking protocol to accelerate uh, packet ingestion. Temporal is also working on, on QoS, right? So we need a way to deal with this uh, larger packet volume. Um, and yesterday we demoed our V0 QoS working at 1.4 million TPS per core. Uh, we've all seen Fire Dancer's uh, AVX 512 implementation of SigVerify that hasn't made it yet into the Agave client, but I hope that a second uh, independent implementation can be made and, and brought into it. Uh, version 1.18 saw a new scheduler, and that was a massive step in the right direction. Uh, in, in the runtime, right, we've seen a lot of work done on, on direct account mapping. I, I still think we have a long way to go. Um, but it's, there's a lot of work being done. Um, and there's also new SIMD that's going to massively reduce the amount of data that's copied in and out of the VM for any instruction uh, that uses another program. And then we get to the point here where the VM invokes the entry point of an on-chain Solana program. And that is a very interesting transition in this critical path because it's the first time that code not written or selected by a core dev begins to execute. And so you may be able to see what I'm going with this, which is the core devs can deliver what is the most optimized client by whatever metrics you wish to put forth. But if the on-chain programs are inefficient, we will not realize the vision of Solana as, as blockchain for global scale. Uh, a lot of the programs on mainnet uh, inherit inefficiencies from the current tooling, right? So the compiler, the core abstractions in Solana program, um, and the program frameworks all each independently inject unnecessary or suboptimal code and, and bloat the executable. It's been a, a massive effort, very successful, to improve the developer experience on Solana, but it is now time to make performance a top priority. So I'm here to announce Peregrine, uh, a, f a framework for efficient Solana programs. Uh, so this you know, gets, uh, fixes a lot of the inefficiencies, um, and it has enough utilities that you know, it stands alone as a, as a framework. Any instruction or account data that it, it touches is all zero copy. It has the same separation of validation and execution that developers have come to learn. Um, and it's Rust. It's not proc macros. It's not EPF assembly. So you can just write performant, readable, maintainable, extensible code. And that's the goal. Uh, you may have heard of uh, this token program that I wrote. Uh, Nano token. Um, this was sort of the first application of these uh, principles. And with these techniques, we were able to reduce the size of the executable almost by a factor of three compared to SPL, and almost by a factor of four compared to a totally new blank anchor uh, program. It uses 100 times less block space per transfer. And even with all the overhead of a current Agave VM, it still does 54,000 transfers per second on a single core. So this is totally parallelizable across distinct token account pairs. So added eight, 16 execution threads, and I'll let you do the math. Um, in addition to this, I'd like to announce the Solana program Cave. So this is just a collection of very simple programs uh, that just illustrate these techniques. Um, you know, just some like, simple ones that you may have seen before. And there'll be a few primitives in there that have never been seen yet on, on Solana. Um, and so, yeah, this is the this is the future that I want for for Solana. And if we execute, right, this is a shared mission. Um, if we execute, you know, in a few years, we can all sit back and bask in the glory and admire the beauty of the symphony of silicon that we call Solana. Mm -hmm.